Hey guys, if you've been uh, keeping up with my blog at www.missionduke.com, um, you'd know that I was working on a server rack. Um, I decided to make it out of 2x4s because I couldn't afford to make it out of metal because that would be really expensive. And um, I did have a server rack before that I got from work for free, but it was too tall for the garage and I ended up storing it somewhere and then uh, that didn't work out. So I got rid of that. and. Uh, basically made one out of two by fours uh... The total cost was about forty forty four dollars forty five dollars somewhere around that range um, basically just used uh... eight foot lengths of two by four and uh... just a bunch of construction screws and um, that was pretty much it just kinda put it together i uh... designed it in google sketchup on a mac and uh... Check it out. So this is the design that I ended up with. Um, it's just two by fours, and its uh, total length is 30 inches by 24 inches um, by 72 inches tall. Um, I do have steel casters on the bottom. Uh, they're rated for 150 pounds, but being stupid, I decided to put more weight on there than it can handle. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, Alright, starting at the top here, I just got some stuff stacked on top right now because I need to clean out the garage a little bit, but um, basically I've got one section at the top there. You can see that it is basically kind of framed out, 2x4s inside there. And I've got the monitor on the top here, and then we go down we've got a shelf here same setup as up at the top there um, and then I've got my IBM X series 345 going on the top this server underneath here isn't running currently um, and then I got another shelf there and just basically just hanging out I didn't screw anything in I've got my keyboard and mouse up top there I haven't really set that up yet um, down here I've got what I haven't actually looked at and tested yet, but it appears to be just a just a big raid. Um, connects with a SCSI cable. I should be able to connect that right to my server up here. Um, just need to find a SCSI cable. And down here I've got my other uh, it's a Dell Power Edge. Uh, was it 2500? I haven't played with that yet. I tested that. That works just fine. Um, so yeah, so this is my homemade server rack, it's extremely strong and well built, I mean it's a little crooked, but that's because I don't have all the right tools, I got kind of a old circular saw, and so yeah, so I'll give you a little bit wider angle here, so you can get it, I'm in the garage right now so you can't really see everything, but it's about six feet tall, you know, give or take a quarter inch or so depending on how I cut it <laughs> yeah so it was fun designing and putting together it took me when well, I started today well actually I started it last weekend and it took about two of two hours to cut the wood and frame the bottom down here um, then I ended up getting everything all screwed together it took about I started at 11 o'clock and ended at about 4 30 5 o'clock so that included closing or uh, cleaning the garage up too. So yeah. So I'll kind of show you what I got going. Nice. Right, so I got the monitor here. Let me give it some power. You can see that uh, it takes a little while to come on here because it's kind of an old monitor gateway. Ooh. It works. <laughs> That's all I needed to do. Let's see if. Uh, I don't have a screensaver set up on here, so it should turn on just fine here. Whoop. I think I got the screensaver on here. Or the, uh, yeah, there we go. Sleep mode. <laughs> okay. She is slow on. It's cold out, too. Alright, so I'm running Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, I really actually don't know the correct pronunciation. I, I know you can see all these lines coming down here. 
Um, sorry, CRT monitor, what can you do, you know? Um, so yeah, basically it's just uh, storage for right now. I'm running a proxy server on there. Um, and what else do I got going? Uh, well, I got a camera server for managing uh, surveillance cameras. I haven't set that up, it's just testing right now. Um, and this is a machine that I took to down here and it's running. Currently, that's what the uh, nice fan noise is in the background here. Let me get down here. Let's see the front if you can. This is my uh, IBM X Series 345 server. I got it free from work. It works. A little dusty. Just gonna clean it up. Um, the series underneath, is, or the uh, sorry, the server down underneath that one is the Dell Power 2450. I haven't tested that one yet. Looks like uh, no hard drives, so I'm gonna have to get a couple of those or take them out of the other machine down below. And if you can barely see, just a bunch of storage down here. And I've got the Dell Power Edge um, 2500 here. I'll open that up for you. I'm sure, the lighting's pretty bad in here. Ugh. I can get it open now. I think the weight is uh, a little awkward on there. Just one second here. Huh. I think I may have put too much weight on the front. There we go. <laughs> Need to adjust that a little bit, so you can tell. You can just barely see down in there. Just a regular server. It works just fine. I haven't. Uh, I don't think I installed anything on there. I don't know. I'll have to check it out later. So that's that. So that would be my homemade server rack. I don't have walls and I do not have a top or bottom or doors or anything yet. Uh, reason being, uh, money ran short. <laughs> well, actually I got money, but I just didn't want to spend it on it. It really works, you know. It's not the cleanest, but it'll get the job done. Guarantee that. So that's my homemade server rack out of wood. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you guys are all being complaining about grounding issues, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I think it'll do fine. It was having no issues sitting on the workbench and worked just fine for quite a few months. Never had any problems. No shorts, nothing. Um, yeah, so I guess it'll live. Uh, coming up here, I've got a patch panel coming in the mail and some other equipment and. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make a video for that and put that up on uh, YouTube here and show you guys uh, how I put that together. I'm going to have to do some punch down stuff. Um, basically I'm going to reroute all of the network and internet connection uh, equipment into the garage. So it's a router and um, I've got a switch and uh, you know, a cable modem and everything. I'm bring that in the garage and put it into the server rack and then distribute it from there into the house. So. Uh, make sure you come back and check out that video. Uh, should be coming pretty soon here. They said between 10 to 20 days, maybe up to a month because it's coming from overseas. But, um, you know, discounts, cheap stuff, works for me, as long as it works. Um, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you subscribe. Uh, go ahead and rate and comment. Um, it doesn't pay the bills. I don't care. It's not my goal. But I enjoy making videos and enjoy just having fun. Um, go ahead and check out my blog, my technology blog that is, at www.missionduke.com. Uh, link should be somewhere here, there, everywhere. It's just, you know. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.